something so kind. Good word, I like yeah, that. Yeah, kind. I'm very happy with that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Lord Kindy. Lord Kindy, that's yes. is two words. Good. That is two words. So this is my latest sweep. Ferrari 355 GTS manual. It does Nord 60 in 4 point something. It's got 300 something horsepower. That's irrelevant. The whole point is not to talk about it down the pub. The whole point is to go and drive the damn thing. That's why it's got to be a manual. So this is Carlton Towers. The house has been here since Doomsday. It's been rebuilt, rebuilt, rebuilt. Its last rebuilding was in 1870 by my great, great uncle. And he employed uh, a guy called Augustus Welby Pugin to do the design. He then rowed with Pugin, my great, great uncle. And then they got a guy called John Francis Bentley in to complete the interiors. And really the whole point about the house are these three rooms here. This is the Venetian drawing room. When Bentley was designing the house, he found some Venetian glass. So he themed it around the Merchant of Venice. Uh, the walls are supposed to look like Italian stamped leather. This is probably one of the great Victorian interiors in existence. Uh, this is the family crest, the Saracen's head. My ancestors were crusaders. Uh, they cut off an infidel's head. He was coming to attack the kings. So we were given uh, his head as our crest. Um, so he doesn't look very happy, really. Family oh. life at Carlton. Well, we love our hound dogs. We love our dogs so much. The children aren't here. They're all a bit grown up now. And so they're not really around. Actually, Arthur's always, he's around because he's, he does his pigs, so that's going to that's a burgeoning business. We hope. We, we hope indeed. We hope, yeah. we hope indeed. There's money in pigs. There's money in them there pigs. Uh, okay, so this is my son Arthur, and he's Mr. Pigman, and we're now going to go give them their mid-morning piggy treats. Come on. Now these are our six Oxford and Sandy black pigs, and as you see, we made a little um, piggy heaven for them, and they are loving it. So Arthur, as head of pigs, mm -hmm. what do you reckon makes a happy pig? I think lots of nice rooms to run around in, fresh fruit, a bit of water to wallow in when it's hot. And where do we get the fruit from? So we now buy them fresh apples from Morrison's. So you mean these apples probably coming from New Zealand? Yeah, yeah. So these pigs get fresh apples yeah, from New Zealand the best every day. around. Wow. <laughs> okay, so now we're in the servants' corridor, um, which is very much like Downton Abbey. Uh, which we've recently turned into a cooking school. And here we have it. Uh, this was the original kitchen that you know, Mrs. Bridges or Mrs. Patmore would have worked in. Uh, these are the original ranges which we've kept to try and keep a sort of old style feel. I think is what's different about the cooking school at Carlton is the fact that firstly you are in the original kitchen. It's not some prefabricated barn somewhere. And I think, you know, it's just, it's just a great space here. You're overlooking the park. You can see the animals that you're gonna cook, which may be nice, maybe not. Okay, I think it was Churchill who once said that cats look down on you, dogs look up to you, but pigs look you right in the eye. I reckon he was probably right about that one. <laughs>